Paranoia was a really cool psychological sci-fi thriller. Um, it was very mysterious. We don't know exactly what's going on. Uh, we're not told much, but I think the story is made very clear to us. Um, and what is happening is made really clear, even though the rest is sort of a mystery. I thought the setting was really cool. Um, the location that they're filming in looked awesome, looked very sci-fi. Um, I thought the editing uh, was really cool and it sort of showed her psyche and what and what she's hallucinating, um, like the glitchy editing showing like her confusion as this oxygen level is dropping. The oxygen level at the beginning and end sort of add that ticking clock, that uh, intensity to this film. Uh, I thought that was really well done. And just the concept overall of her losing oxygen, um, making her paranoid that the person that she's already killed is choking her. Um, I thought that was cool, very psychological to be inside her head like that. So yeah, I thought it was, this was a really cool film and I liked it a lot. It could be easy to see how she got into a state of paranoia, especially with low oxygen levels. This film did a great job in bringing science into the film film genre where you can into the film industry where you could see exactly how this could happen that when you're running low on oxygen you're already at a panic state that if somebody would happen to show up to help you you could begin hallucinating not sure if they're there you could think they're a threat because your mind is already dying it's um the filmmakers did a great job at constructing the mass level of panic this girl felt through music, dialogue, and even the showing it was her own hallucinations. They put it all together very well in such a short time period that you could feel her panic coming through. You could feel the paranoia coming off the screen, which was a job well done. I really enjoyed the special effects and paranoia. I think they did a great job of creating that spooky, suspenseful, what is happening, everything is so confusing vibe that fit the storyline really well. Paranoia. This was an action short film that was full of tension, suspense, um, acts of desperation and just really well told with barely dialogue. Um, the actors' movements uh, were telling the story as well as the security camera showing us the action behind the scenes and the computer screen counting down the oxygen levels, which was really exciting. Uh, the sound effects and the soundtrack were perfectly suited to this short and it was a great set for a futuristic ship's crew in chaos. Um, nicely done. I uh, wished it was longer. Thank you. One of my favorite things about paranoia is the ambiguity. Um, I love that it plants all the seeds there but once you hit the ending, everything kind of connects and makes sense. Uh, you realize that this was not what it was set out to be. Uh, you know, it, it looks like she's being hunted down and being strangled, when in reality, uh, she was actually the one who committed the murder due to a paranoia filled in hallucination due to oxygen deprivation uh, and so while she mentally believes she is getting uh, strangled in reality she's getting deprived of oxygen which I guess is <laughs> being strangled but um, not by the person she killed uh, that was a very nice twist uh, and it was a lot of fun watching and just seeing the mystery gradually unfold Hey, I'm commenting on the short film Paranoia. Um, well, I think this certainly lives up to its name. Um, I really appreciated the way that you sort of cultivated this sense of uh, claustrophobia and, um, you know, anxiety and just your use of space, I thought was uh, really interesting and really cool. Um, I thought it was a really nice touch to um, 
uh, have so many she scenes shown through the security cams. Um, I think that's a, just a great way to stretch a budget and, you know, to, um, uh, sort of lend a sense of realism, especially when, you know, uh, some of the production design stuff might not, uh, be, you know, the most, you know, expensive stuff you can get. Um, <clears throat> I think it was, uh, I think it was well acted and, um, yeah, I just, uh, I, I loved that this was essentially, you know, a short horror film, uh, in space. It, um, it had a lot of, uh, similar vibes to something like The Thing or Alien. Um, and, uh, I, you really, really just enjoyed it and I think you did a really nice job with it. Uh, great work. Paranoia. They did such a good job with this with really kind of making you as the audience also feel paranoid and also feel kind of like that on edge uneasy feeling um like you know you're being watched or something like that and I really love how they kind of played with colors with this um they didn't just leave it which I think is pretty typical when you just kind of leave something to be mostly cloaked in darkness you have a little bit here and there but they really did play with like different light and having it play like off of her and what kind of shadows it would throw um to kind of enhance the feeling which I really appreciated I thought it was really well done and then you just truly like throughout the entire thing like I was saying like you understand and feel kind of what she is feeling which is impressive just because as an audience member typically we have more information than the characters do because we see more so I really liked it